Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over a little Stellite coin uh, tutorial, how to mine it. Uh, it's real easy. And uh, we'll take a brief look at uh, what my rigs did over the weekend. All right, guys, be back in a bit. All right, so real quick before we go on, guys, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. Um, all you need to do to be entered to win uh, when the video comes out is subscribe and hit that notification bell, all right? So uh, in the future, when that video does come out, you'll be notified, all right? So with that, let's get into uh, Stellite Coin. All right, so Stellite Coin right here. Um, this is really a, uh, I kind of stumbled upon it today, so I saw somebody talking about it on YouTube, uh, Machiru channel or something like that. Uh, he was just going over speculative coins, uh, and he, something that struck a chord with me is this is a mineable coin at such a really low price. So I was like, I wonder if I can mine this coin, how many coins I'll get at the current price. So just to show you real quick, current price is 0 .000216, all right? Rank number 838, got just over a million market cap, okay? So pretty much an unheard of coin as of now. It came out in January, I believe. So it's only been out for a few months. Uh, and it's only shown up on the markets. We'll go back here uh, in April, April 9th. So... It's only been out now, and um, check it out real quick. So this is a redistribution of wealth using the power of blockchain, although I'm not a fan of redistribution of wealth. Um, I thought I would give it a shot and mine it, okay? Most decentralized cryptocurrency, we eradicate a single point of failure by keeping an immutable and distributed track of the node list thanks to IPFS. While ZeroNet offers a decentralized interface to this storage. So basically, it's like a privacy coin. It's, kind of, it's a fork off of um, uh, Electronium. It uses the CryptoNote uh, algorithm. Uh, everyone can participate. This is another thing that I kind of liked about this coin. It's Delight plans to bring true mining to all devices from smartphones to smart TVs. Our power control algorithm ensures no harm on devices and keep power consumption under control, which it does. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, secure and private crypto node technology is the backbone of Stellite. It forms a solid and well-tested foundation, allowing us to keep our coin profitable to every single miner. Uh, it's got a nice wallet, and the miner is really easy to set up, and we will show you that in a minute. So um, you guys can read the white paper. Uh, I'll leave a link down this in the description. Um, looks like a couple of young guys uh, running the show. It's, I mean, it's got a team, but there is a, um, here's a team right here. There's a video right here. I'll also leave that. This is one of the main guys right here. I mean, he looks like he's 15 years old, but dude seems to know what he's talking about. So um, anyways, I'll leave a link to this video as well. You can check that out. Um, so let's go ahead and get into mining the Coin. So first, we're going to want to. So first, we're going to want to download the wallet. So you'll go to the site here, click on the GUI wallet. It'll take you over to um, the uh, GitHub right here. And in my case, it's the Win64 right here. You'll download that and um, follow the instructions. It's really simple. Here is what the actual wallet looks like pretty nice interface um, I just did get some coins here 290 of them not too long ago uh, it's got your receive you know history that's when I got it about 230 I've only been mining I don't know maybe two and a half three hours now uh, advanced it's got a built-in miner inside the wallet so right now I'm mining with my four cores of my CPU at 68 hashes. So I thought that was pretty neat as well. Um, it's got different settings. You know, it's just a um, your basic wallet. It's a little more in-depth than some of the other wallets, like a Ravencoin or something like that. It's got a nice interface. Um, 
send and receive, etc. So let's get into um, the mining part. Of course, on the same site here, G, uh, the GUI miner, graphical user, user interface miner, you would click on that, it would download or go to this page. You could click the one I clicked because I would be mining with my CPU as well is you know XTL stack bundle CPU GPU miner. You download that and we would head over to my uh, not my wallets miners. So I downloaded it into here. There it is right there. And then I unzipped it and call it Stellite Miner. So we're going to walk through real quick. I have not set it up on this laptop. So I'll show you how easy it is. So you double click on this. It's going to give you this little error. Pretty much it does on every, uh, it's just your antivirus pulling up. So then it will um, pull up here. It'll ask you a few questions. And that's about it. That's the name of my laptop. I've never seen an actual miner with this kind of a uh, interface to it. Yes, I have a wallet. Uh, my address, I've already copied my address. I'll put it in there. Click continue. I've already set up a, um, a pool. This is all the pools you can choose from, so you don't have to go and you know try and find one. Let's see if I can scroll down here. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so then you would just scroll down. Um, I picked the um, actual pool, the official pool right here. So you would select that, click continue. Okay, I've allowed the miner. So I've already set up my folder miners on my desktop to allow, you know, I did this a long time ago and any kind of miners I have. Your antivirus just allow the folder. That's all this is telling you right here. Click OK. I've allowed the miner. It configures it. Allow access. And boom, it's mining right now. So it'll take a little bit to pull up the hashes. Difficulty and stuff like that. And it really is as simple as that. 213 hashes so far. May, may build up a little bit to 14 I don't know but it's as simple as that to set up this miner I couldn't believe how easy it was and when you go and you watch this video right here which I'll show you these guys are all four miners that's why they set this that graphical user interface the GUI as they call it which is right here to make it as easy as possible for anyone to get it set up and going you know you basically just have to copy your wallet address and click a few buttons in and you're good to go so right here this will give you an estimate of how much you're gonna get per day so with this laptop it gets 654 estimated uh, stellite per day again it's only point zero 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 two stellite but you know I just wanted to show you how easy it was okay they do they are active on Twitter here's their Twitter right here they're doing some testing under zero net uh, and IPFS integration um, they got a snapshot they do not have their mobile miner ready to go that should be coming in soon I thought they had a, a pick of it there it is right there so I'll click on this if it'll pull it up there we go so that's going to be a snapshot of their mobile miner it's going to be pretty much um, in direct competition of electronium's miner but this one will actually mine uh, which is really cool so these guys are all for um, the mining compute the, the mining community all right proof of work which is really really cool really nice to see um, so let's head over here to uh, my actual mining rig I got it on my Nvidia rig right now going so we'll pull this up here we are 1.61 kilo hashes on my rig 
it's telling me I should get at the moment 49, almost 5,000 uh, coins, uh, stalactite coins right now. So let's head over. I think I got the pool. Yes, here's the pool set up right here. And it'll show you my kilohashes right now. That fluctuates. You can scroll down. Here's me. It's going up and down. Um, I've already gotten 290 coins out. You can see I started right around in there. So right around 1230 I started. And, well, this pool should update. There we go. I was about to say. So I started right around 1230. It's now about almost three hours later. I got 290 coins. And like I said here, this is telling me I should be getting anywhere from 4,300. I've seen it up over 6,000 coins a day. That's per day. So what I think I'm going to let this run for a while and just see, get tens of thousands of coins because you never know with these types of things, you know. I mean, it could uh, it could take off and and go. It's got a max supply of 21 um billion coins so let's pull up coin market cap let's go to this and see if we can find another coin that's similar um, let me see let me see Cardano 25 let's max supply 45 billion so that's that's close the other one's 21 this is 45 and Cardano is sitting at 13 cents right now so if it ever gets up to a market cap anywhere around Cardano you can make some pretty good gains on mining this coin right now um, at a really low really low price 43.92 still going it's dropping a little bit but it fluctuates like I said head back over to the pool this might be a little laggy because this computer is um, mining with it now but it spikes up look it was up here at like 2400 hashes at one point it goes up and down so it'll level out after a while I'm sure um, another thing with this really easy on your cards or your computer so let me pull up um, afterburner this is the uh, number one right here is the 1070 ti 56 degrees um, power limit of power limit of 90 fan speed 65 so it's really easy on your cards it's only um, it's only making the equivalent of maybe right so it's only making the equivalent of like a dollar a day right now um, but I'm gonna mine it for you it's not gonna hurt to mine it for a few days because that that's only at the current price right now I'm getting gonna be getting thousands and thousands of coins so who knows what this could turn into in the future now of course this is highly specul speculative is that how you say it um, so is it a big risk yeah it's a big risk you know it's one I'm willing to take though uh, I'm not saying anyone out there should take the same risk I was just showing you what I'm doing and it's a um, this could be a little bit of a diamond in the rough they are um, it's, it's only six eight months old coin or project right now and it looks like they've already got a lot of stuff done you know usually somebody I mean Tron didn't even have their own wallet yet really these guys have got their own wallet ready to go the miner as you just saw how easy it was to set up um, is um it's really it's a nice interface I mean look at that and for being so easy and user-friendly why not give it a shot you never know so um, with that I guess it's gonna be all on Stalite coin I'll leave the links down in the description you guys can go check that out for yourself um, it's not the most profitable coin to mine right now but if you can get thousands a day five to six thousand a day at least in my case why not pick up you know tens of thousands of them for a little while who knows what will happen with them in the future all right so over the weekend rigs uh, I did run nice hash for a little bit I was running honey miner but it wasn't working correctly I think it was some kind of a bug with it on this rig on the laptop it worked fine but on this Nvidia rig it was it was giving me a bit of a bit of an issue so I switched to nice hash for a little bit and uh, 
I might as well put this to light in. 290. I just got that. That value is not correct, by the way. Uh, anyways, um, 2135, roughly so far this week. Um, 1333 worth of Ethereum Classic. Did mine a little bit of Bitcoin. Um, I do now officially have four Ethereum Classic. I think I will stop when I get to five Ethereum Classic. And then I'll start uh, converting all that to Bitcoin again. Um, so listen, guys, I guess that's going to be it for today. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to uh, put that down below, and I will definitely get back to you. Um, again, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll definitely get back to you. And uh, with that, guys, that's going to be it for this uh this edition of the Crypto Fish YouTube channel. I will uh, see you all in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.